Hello everyone, good morning in this lecture. Today I'm going to talk to you about liver fibrosis, liver cirrhosis. Okay, so before I talk about what is actual liver fibrosis, I want to show you some pictures here. Okay, the, the, this, this is the picture of the healthy liver. You can see that this, this, this liver looks really red and healthy okay but whereas this is the picture of a fibrotic liver okay you see the scar kind of scar has started forming here and when it comes to the cirrhotic liver and the, you see this black thing black scars on the liver and now it's in the uh, little bit more severe form right and the final final picture is the picture of liver cancer where you see this cancerous tissue okay cancerous accumulation cancer tissue cancer cells uh, present on the liver tissue sorry okay cancer cells present on the liver tissue accumulated cancer cells present on the liver tissue okay so uh, on, I will talk to I will give you the definition what is liver fibrosis first we just just keep it, compare these pictures okay healthy liver from healthy liver first uh, this liver gets converted into fibrotic liver this is the uh, after fibrosis the liver gets actually uh, beef liver becomes more sick and then the another stage uh, of the liver disease is the cirrhotic liver and finally that leads to the liver cancer called as uh, hepatocellular carcinoma also okay so this is this, this picture here compares the healthy liver with different mm, pathological conditions of the liver fibrotic cirrhotic and cancerous right so now uh, what is actually liver fibrosis? I want to give you the definition. What is liver fibrosis? Liver fibrosis is a generation of a fibrotic response in the liver that gives rise to the accumulation of extracellular matrix components leading to the fibrous scar formation. Okay, this is a fibrous scar formation here. Uh, yes, and here also you can see the scars. This is just the advanced stage of fibrosis, the cirrhosis leading to the fibrous scar formation and architecture of the liver is disrupted by the presence of fibrous scar okay so you see here the liver architecture is very nice but when this there is a fibrous scar this gets distorted look here and also same here and here okay so the liver's architecture is distorted by the presence of fibrous scar which causes hepatocyte loss here will be the loss of the hepatocytes about which i'll i'll, I'll get back to you in the later slides and and deregulation of the normal function of the liver, which ultimately results in liver failure, right? So what is the liver fibrosis? Liver fibrosis is, is, is a fibrotic response in which there is accumulation of extracellular matrix. I will give you the details in, in the later part of this lecture. What is What are extracellular matrix components? And there is formation of fibrous scar and architecture of the liver is dist disrupted and there is loss of hepatocytes and there is deregulation of normal functioning of the liver, right? So this is the uh, definition of liver fibrosis, okay? More details, more clear explanations coming in the later part. So now, so what, what causes actually liver fibrosis? There are two, two causes. One is hepatotoxic, the others, other arm is the cholestatic injury, okay? Hepatotoxic and cholestatic injury. So, Hepatotoxic injury is triggered by different cellular factors, outside factors. What are those factors? Those factors are hepatitis B and hepatitis C chronic infections. Okay, hepatitis B and C virus infections, Western diet, you know, pizzas, burger, and alcohol abuse. So these are the reasons that lead to chronic liver injury. And this chronic liver injury causes liver fibrosis. Liver fibrosis, fibrosis leads to liver cirrhosis and which ultimately leads to hepatocellular carcinoma. Liver fibrosis is a reversible, it, it is reversible, so it can be reverted back to the healthy liver. However, liver cirrhosis is not reversible. This is very important, guys. Liver fibrosis is reversible, but this is not reversible. That's why there is, a, when we have liver cirrhosis, then there is a need to transplant the liver. liver. There is no other, other option, okay? So these are hepatotoxic and cholestatic injury. Okay, the another another etiology is cholestatic injury. This is this this cause 
This is caused by this causes reduced or obstructive obstructed sorry bile flow in the liver. So there is a re reduced cholecystic injury is characterized by reduced or obstructed bile flow in the liver. That is caused by primary and secondary disease, for example, cholangitis, sclerosing cholangitis, and biliary biliary um, atresia. Okay, so these are two. So the for the liver fibrosis etiology, hepatotoxic injury and cholecystic injury. This cause. Uh, liver fibrosis and for cholestatic injury there are different diseases primary biliary diseases primary sclerosis, sclerosing cholangitis and biliary artesia whereas for hepatotoxic hepatotoxic injuries the causes are hepatitis b and c and chronic infections western diets alcohol abuse etc okay these diagram here they show the stages of liver injury okay first chronic liver injury followed by liver fibrosis followed by liver cirrhosis and finally hepatocellular carcinoma okay so now what is extracellular matrix i mentioned that there is accumulation of extracellular matrix but here in this slide i'm going to talk to you about what is this extracellular matrix extracellular matrix is a dynamic structural component of the liver extra means outside so it is the structural component of the liver this is not present within the cells but this is present outside of the cells so extracellular matrix, this is composed of collagens, glycoproteins, fibronectin, laminin, tenacin, von Willebrand factor, and proteoglycans. So these are different components of which this uh, ECM is made of. Okay, so these, these different components makes this extracellular matrix. So what is fibrosis? Fibrosis results in, in fibrosis, what happens? In fibrosis, there is a excessive accumulation of scar tissue that is extracellular matrix okay there is excessive accumulation of scar tissue extracellular matrix so liver fibrosis is a response generated as a result of chronic liver injury okay so this figure this figure here is the picture of a healthy normal health liver when there is a chronic liver injury that leads to liver fibrosis what are the causes of chronic liver injury or the liver fibrosis i already discussed Right. So in healthy liver, we have hepatocytes and hepatic stellate cells and sinusoidal cells, and there is less extracellular matrix. Okay. But when you look look at this this picture here, this is a, a fibrotic liver, and in this fibrotic liver, you can see extracellular matrix. There is a lot of extracellular matrix. So what is this then? Like I said before, in in fibrotic liver, there is accumulation of extracellular matrix, and this this extracellular matrix contains glycoproteins, fibronectins, laminin, etc., etc. Okay, just compare these two pictures, guys. Okay, this is normal liver. This is a fibrotic liver. Chronic chronic liver injury happens. Normal liver gets converted to fibrotic liver. This is the uh, I would say the detail um, detailed view, detailed structural view of the normal liver. When you see that, there is no no not much extracellular matrix but when you see this fibrotic liver there is extracellular matrix accumulation you know these things okay this is a stellar cell this this gets activated also there about these these other um phenomenon phenotypes that that occur in liver fibrosis i will i'll talk to you in later part okay so the thing is that in liver fibrosis there is accumulation of extracellular matrix and this extracellular matrix is composed of collagens, glycoproteins, fibronectins, laminin, tenacin, proteoglycans, etc., etc. Okay. So now, so then a common effect of all those factors on the liver is the generation of chronic inflammation, resulting in abnormal wound healing response. Liver fibrosis is associated with major alterations both in, in both the quantity and composition of extracellular matrix okay not only the com quantity but also the composition of the extracellular matrix so liver liver contains about six times more extracellular matrix than normal okay so in advanced stages when the liver fibrosis is in advanced stages then these extracellular matrix proteins they are actually six times more compared to healthy healthy liver compared to healthy liver this is six times more and this contains like i said before collagen fibronectin elastin laminin halorin proteoglycans etc etc so okay now the people you may you might be asking okay so what could be the reason for this accumulation of extracellular matrix the reason for accumulation of these extracellular matrix is either increased synthesis of these extracellular matrix or decreased degradation okay so either increased synthesis or decreased degradation in fibrosis there is decreased degradation and increased synthesis so there is a disbalance in synthesis and degradation that's why there is this accumulation okay so simple 
point that you need to understand is that in fibrotic liver there is more six i mean five six times more accumulation of extracellular matrix proteins okay really important point so now i'm going to talk to you about the relevance of hepatic stellate cells so what are hepatic stellate cells okay this is the picture of hepatic stellate cell okay this hepatic stellate cells this is present between hepatocytes and sinusoidal, sinusoidal endothelial cells, okay, between in perisinusoidal space, okay, this space is called perisinusoidal space, sinusoidal space, and in this space, this hepatic stellar cell is present, okay, and in number, they are about 5 to 8 percent of the total uh, liver cell. So, in the quiescent form, in the healthy liver, uh, in the normal stage, they are these hepatic stellar cells, they are in quiescent form, okay, and they, their function is to store vitamin A, okay, in quiescent form, they store vitamin A, but what happens in fibrotic conditions, that I will discuss. So, these are the different causes, alcohol, NASH food, viral, and uh, other different methods, uh, I mean, different reasons of uh, liver injury, then they cause these Questioned hepatic stellate cell cells into activated hepatic stellate cell cells. And these activated hepatic stellate cell cells, what they do, they contribute to, you know, this increased synthesis of, increase, increase in this extracellular matrix. Okay, during hepatic fibrosis, continuous accumulation of extracellular matrix, extremely rich in collagen 1 and 3rd leads to scar deposition and liver fibrosis. Okay. So, liver fibrosis is a liver re reversible process, but when it reaches to cirrhosis, then it, it is not re irreversible. It is irreversible. Okay, it is irreversible. So you need to understand what, what is the point is that in liver fibrosis, this questioned hepatic cell cells, this gets converted into activated hepatic cell cells, and these activated hepatic cell cells contributes to this accumulation of extracellular matrix. Okay, just this thing you need to understand. So now moving next, so more more details in the pathophysiology this picture here is the picture of a normal liver and this is the picture of a fibrotic liver i mean showing ultra structural components okay so in normal liver we have hepatocytes this is perisinusoidal space where we have hepatic stellate cells this is uh, and these so the okay whereas this is a fibrotic liver okay so hepatocytes and so this this is a this is what it is like i said this is a this is our hepatic cell cells, and this is SSCs and Kupfer cells. This is, these are Kupfer cells, or they are also called macrophages. These are endothelial cells, okay? And this is collagen, okay? This, this is collagen. This is a normal healthy liver, right? When fibrosis happens, causes of fibrosis, I have already discussed, then what happens? These hepatic cell cells, this gets converted into activated hepatic cell cells, okay? Point number one. Hepatic cell cells gets converted into activated hepatic cell cells. Point number one. Point number two. These collagen or collagen, this is called extracellular matrix. The major, one of the major component is collagen. The collagen accumulation is increased. Okay, you see the collagen has increased here in fibrotic liver compared to the healthy liver. Right. This is point number two. Point number three is that here we in the healthy liver we have hepatocytes, uh, hepatocytes. Sorry, hepatocytes and. In, in, in fibrosis, what happens? This, some of the hepatocytes are dying. That's why they're apoptotic, apoptotic hepatocytes. This is apoptotic hepatocytes. Okay, this is another another feature of uh, fibrotic liver. And the next point is macrophages. These are Kupfer cells, or also called macrophages of the liver. And so what 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 happens to them? They get actually activated. Okay, in they get activated in fibrotic conditions. Okay, they get activated in fibrotic conditions. And finally, these endothelial cells, okay, endothelial cells, endothelial cells, the endothelial cells are here, and but in, in fibrotic conditions, these endothelial cell with thickened basal lamina. So these basal lamina of endothelial cells, this gets thickened, okay, basal lamina of endothelial cell, okay, you see here this, this gets thickened, basal lamina of endothelial cell that gets thickened, okay, so this, this is the pathophysiology. Hepatocytes, healthy hepatocytes, they are epictotic hepatocytes. Hepatic stellate cell cells, they, they get converted to activated hepatic stellate cell cells and they transdifferentiate into, trans into myofibroblasts and that leads to increase in this extracellular matrix, matrix accumulations. Kupfer cells or macrophages, they get activated. Okay, so Kupfer cells and macrophages, they get activated. These are macrophages and they get activated. Endothelial cells, what happens to them? They're thickened, thickened basal lamina. Okay, thickened basal lamina. 
and collagen is increased accumulation of collagen in fibrotic conditions. Okay. So I talked about my I briefly said in this this slide here about myofibroblast. I will just want to give you you know what is this myofibroblast? This myofibroblast is from fibroblasts also we can get myofibroblasts from cellular cells and there are other cell types from which we get myofibroblasts and this myofibroblast is responsible also responsible for increasing this uh, this extracellular matrix accumulation okay the summary the summary of this lecture is that fibrosis is a reversible uh, reversible stage i mean you know, up to fibrosis it can be reversed back to normal but cirrhosis is non reversible condition and in normal liver there are healthy hepatocytes and there is less collagen accumulations and, and there are these hepatic stellar cells in questioned form. Okay, they are not active, they are in questioned form. And there is no endothelial cells normal, no thickening, no thickening. Okay, but in fibrotic conditions, what happens? These uh, hepatocytes, they are apoptotic, that means they are dying, dying hepatocytes, macrophage gets activated increase in this collagen accumulation or extracellular matrix, or matrix accumulation and endothelial cell with thickened basal lamina. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful in understanding pathophysiology of liver fibrosis. Thank you very much.